In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and configure Cumulus VX in GNS3. Ethernet 0 is configured for DHCP. The same is true here. CAT network interfaces. Ethernet 0, which is a management interface, is configured with DHCP. So what we could do is bring a Cisco IOS V router into the topology and bring a NAT cloud into the topology and then cable the management interface to the Cisco switch. So the Cisco switch is going to be running our management network, which in this case I've connected to the internet. I'll start up the Cisco switch, and once that switch is booted up, we should receive an IP address on the Ethernet Zero interface from the NAT cloud. So it'll take a while for the Cisco switch to boot up. While we're waiting for that, let me explain some commands. We are not running as root on the Cumulus Linux switch. Notice the prompt. But we are running as root on the Ubuntu devices. On the Ubuntu devices, as an example, we don't need to use the sudo command, but we would use that command on the Cumulus devices to run commands as root. We are not logged in as root here. We are logged in as Cumulus. We're currently in the home directory of the Cumulus user. Previously, we logged in as Cumulus, and we can see that here we are logged in as Cumulus on the console of the switch. Okay, so the Cisco switch is now booted up. ifconfig shows us that we still don't have an IP address as yet. Cumulus supports LLDP, so we can use the command sudo LLDP CLI show neighbors. Because we're using a root privilege, we need to put in the root password and notice in the output we can see that we have a Cisco switch called switch. It's available via Ethernet Zero. That's currently all we're seeing as a neighbor. Now notice this output, out of memory. One of the problems with the default template on the Cumulus devices is that it's only allocated 256 mega RAM we may need to allocate it more RAM for the switches to operate properly. So in this case, I'm simply going to double the amount of RAM allocated. So again, we can see a Cisco neighbor. Let's call the switch Cisco 1. And what should happen is that the LLDP commands get updated now we're still seeing memory issues. So what I'll do in a moment is reboot these switches. So show LLDP neighbors. We can see the Cisco switch. Still needs to update the switch name. ifconfig eth0. We haven't received an IP address. So what I'll do is shut these two Cumulus switches down and check that the RAM is correct on both. Which it is. And then I'll start up the two switches again. And open up a console to the first switch. And a console to the second switch. So we can log in as Cumulus. Cumulus Linux bang. Do the same on the second switch. 
and that's assuming that I can spell correctly so it's a cumulus Linux bang or exclamation mark now in Linux you use the history command to see a list of commands that you've typed in this case when I shut the switch down we lost the history so I'm going to simply paste in the command to show neighbors and in the output we can now see a Cisco switch called Cisco 1 on switch 2 we can do something similar we can see a neighbor called Cisco 1 IF config notice the switch has been given an IP address through DHCP and the same is true on switch 2 also been given an IP address so we could do something such as ping google.com that works on the second switch as well as the first switch we can update package references by using the command sudo apt get update this allows us to do updates to the operating system or install additional programs from the cumulus networks website so you can see it's connecting to a repository on the cumulus networks website and updating the references on the two switches so now let's configure the switch port interfaces on the switches and get the PCs to communicate cumulus networks have added a CLI type interface to their switches but for this video I want to teach you a bit about Linux and in my Linux course I want to teach you a lot more about Linux so we're going to do this the old-fashioned way using Linux commands more allows us to read files so as an example we can read Etsy network interfaces if it was a longer file we would see one page at a time which we wouldn't see with cat nano is a text editor so think of it kind of like Microsoft Word but a very basic text editor people with lots of experience of Linux tend to prefer VI and it's quite funny to see how people flame one another and look down on others when they use applications such as Nano because some people believe that VI is the best now even though that may be true for some people I think if you're new to Linux you don't want to start with VI you probably want to start with Nano and that's what I'm going to use here Nano is a lot simpler to get started with Notice we've got an interface, ETH0, configured. The front panel ports of Cumulus Linux switches are called switch ports. So what I'm going to do now is add switch port 1 to the configuration and then switch port 2. So I'll add the two interfaces used in our topology and I'll save the file. So at the moment, when we use the command ifconfig, we only see ETH0 and the loopback interface. What I'm going to do now is reinitialize all interfaces. So notice the difference. After running IF reload hyphen A, we now see our two switch port interfaces. Notice history is very similar to a Cisco router or other router. We can see a list of commands that have been typed. So as an example, we could use this command on the other switch to see the output of the Etsy network interfaces in Linux you can use the bang or exclamation mark and rerun a command so exclamation 6 allows us to rerun the more command so again history exclamation or bang 6 reruns the more command what I can do now as an example is copy that configuration into the text file here now I am using tab to autocomplete so similar to a router CLI use tab to autocomplete or tab tab to see various options so I'll paste the configuration in control X Y to save overwrite the file at the moment I have config doesn't show the two switch port interfaces 
if reload, press up key twice, run the command again, we can see the two switch port interfaces on the Cumulus Linux switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.